Strong correlations might not always be a good thing. Let's hear from Mora about why we look at correlation in the first place and what it can tell us about two variables. So in addition to doing scatter plots where you can visually see how related two variables are, uh, typically I will actually measure their correlation coefficient to really quantify how correlated they are. Um, this is really important because a lot of the data that I work with is correlated with each other. So for example, looking at Facebook data, how many status updates someone posts in a month is really highly correlated usually with how many days in the last month they logged in, or how many friends they have, or how many photos they uploaded in the last month. All of these variables are typically very highly related. And it's usually because they all kind of measure the same thing. It's how engaged someone is. And so typically, when I'm working on a problem, and I'm going to be doing some kind of regression or I'm modeling something, I'm going to be throwing some of these variables into the regression. And one of the assumptions of regression is that these variables are independent of each other. And so if any two are too highly correlated with each other, it'll be really difficult to tell which ones are actually driving the phenomenon. And so it's important to measure the correlation between your variables first, often because it'll help you determine which ones you don't actually want to throw in together, and it might help you decide which ones you actually want to keep.